Don't get hoodwinked by this common misconception. Many home services contractors accidentally mislead their homeowner clients into adding more insulation to their attic. Sean Manser here, founder of Stellar Insulation in Austin. My goal is to help home services contractors improve their level of service to Austin area homeowners, which is why I want to share some important insights with you. So here's the first thing that you need to know. Not only is this blow over practice a mistake, but it is also malpractice. Blowing more insulation on top of existing insulation can create more problems and worsen indoor air quality. So let's dispel the myth by illuminating Stellar Insulation's grading method. Unfortunately, most contractors see an attic without enough insulation depth and see easy money in topping it off. They don't realize that increasing the R value of attic insulation impacts one of the three types of heat transfer. It does not affect the other types of heat transfer. Adding more blown insulation over existing insulation will hide other, more serious problems in the attic. Insulating without air sealing is malpractice. When thinking about attic insulation, most people think of one ingredient of the recipe for success. They think of the R value, but R value is only one of more than 30 ingredients in the recipe to make things turn out right. Simply increasing the R value is like eating cold raw chicken. It puts calories in your body, but it tastes bad and may make you sick. You wouldn't eat chicken without cooking it. Cooking the chicken is like air sealing, also known as convective heat. You have to cook it before you eat it, air seal it before you insulate it. Then there's radiant heat, which is like seasoning. It gives you the flavor that takes the bland chicken and makes it yummy. So you have three types of heat, radiant, convective, and conductive chicken that you flavor and cook. But what else goes into that recipe that creates a delicious meal? Well, suppose you want to create a comfortable and energy efficient, healthy home. In that case, there are about 30 ingredients to make that meal absolutely delicious. It goes back to eating raw chicken. When it's 90 degrees outside, inside your attic it's 135. The heat expands and causes the reverse stack effect. The hot, nasty attic air pushes itself into the home's living space. With that hot air comes allergens that have flooded into the attic insulation over the years. The hot air goes out the bottom of the house and takes conditioned air that the homeowner paid to cool with it. So first thing that you want to stop is the attic nastiness from coming into the house. Or in the wintertime, the opposite happens. The warm, conditioned air leaks out the top via the cracks, holes, penetrations, and so much more. To see all the leak points, you have to remove the existing insulation, allergens, and rodent droppings. Once it is gone, we can see what is going on up there, and we can spray foam the attic roof deck or seal everything up properly to stop the convective heat flow. Here are all the convective heat flow items we must fix. Ducts within the thermal building envelope. All electric boxes encapsulated in foam or attic roof foamed. All drywall top plate connections foam sealed or attic roof foamed. All HVAC registers have orange foam sealed to the drywall or attic roof foamed. All recessed lights have an air sealed hood or attic roof foamed. All plumbing penetrations orange foamed or attic roof foamed. Bath fans encased in foam or butyl matting or attic roof foamed. Attic hatch gasket air sealed or attic roof foamed. No electric attic fan as this increases the stack effect. Bath fans ducted outside to remove moisture from the building. All ductwork sealed with mastic with no visible cracks or attic roof foamed. In the foamed attic, a combustion air room built for non-high efficient HVAC and water heaters. Mechanical flue, chimney, or duct chases are air sealed. Then we must fix the radiant heat before insulating, unless we're foaming the attic. The radiant heat is fixed before conductive heat to prevent damage to the conductive heat ingredients. 
Radiant heat ingredients include reflective barrier clean and free of dust or spray foam. Radiant barrier or spray foam on all decking and rafters. Radiant barrier or spray foam down to the top plate and all the way up. Zero sagging gaps or cracks in the radiant barrier or spray foam. Attic roof deck spray foam because it acts like a radiant barrier. Lastly, we can address the conductive heat ingredients. And as you will see, it's more complex than blowing some more insulation, as many contractors do when trying to make some easy money. The conductive heat ingredients include floor insulation, less than 1% gaps, cracks, or missing insulation, or attic roof foamed. If foamed roof deck, a white ignition barrier is painted onto all foam, part of fire code. All pony wall insulation, R15 plus, without gaps, and is in contact with drywall or attic foamed. Ductwork insulation, two inches plus thick, undisturbed, no compression, or attic roof foamed. R38 bat insulation under the HVAC platform or attic roof foamed. Attic free of allergens, dust, tassels, discoloration for indoor air quality. No insulation contacting flu, the fire pipes, except rock wool, fire code. Attic catch cover insulated to code or attic roof foamed. Insulation as tested in a six-sided box. Consistent depth of insulation, plus or minus one inch on 98% of the attic. No pest droppings, tunnels, traps for indoor air quality. R value meets R49 prescriptive or R25 performance code. For prescriptive, you want the fiberglass to be 18 inches, cellulose 13 inches, rock wool 15 inches, or performance foam six and a half inches. Dehumidifier present in the foamed attic. All attic floor insulation removed in the foamed attic. So there are 30-ish ingredients to properly fix an attic. When grading an attic, you'll want to look for all these items to give the most accurate score possible. It is important to check each of these because homeowners, like most contractors, have no clue about what it entails to fix their attic insulation. But armed with these grading methods and the scorecard, you can properly serve homeowners with the right information so that they can make an intelligent and informed decision. Now you can see why it's important to reveal to clients the truth about their attic insulation. Because if you don't, who knows what will happen next time an uninformed contractor comes in there and tries to make some easy money by covering up all the old insulation, or worse yet, removing the old stuff and not fixing the problems, then blowing back more rodent attracting fiberglass. I hope you'll use this tool to help us help clients change their lives by stellar cleansing their homes. Feel free to reach out with any questions or concerns. We're here to help and together we can make a difference.